Hi dear students, this is the fourth video about uh, decimals and we are going to learn dividing by decimal. Before start starting to dividing by decimal, I want to remind about the, some uh, points about the and uh, usage differences about the division. Firstly, if you divide, let's say 12 by uh, 4, which is divisible number, 12 is divisible by 4 so the answer is going to be equal to 3 but if you use a number like 10 divide divided uh, by 4 it's going to be equal to decimal number and how to find that decimal number I'm going to show that one to you when we divide we are going to use the maybe you can use different notations but I'm going to use this notation I'm going to write the dividend here divisor here and the result here I'm going to write so in 10 how many force we have two force we have two times four it's going to be equal to eight and the result 10 minus eight it is written here two now this is important part two is not divisible by four and if you want to continue to our operation if you want to solve the question with decimal number you are adding zero here at the same time you are adding your decimal point to this place only once we are doing this operation because we have to add only one decimal after this one if we continue to operation we will not to add we will not add decimal point again so now the number is 20 and in 20 there uh, there is five times four so the answer here it's going to be five five times four it's equal to 20 and when we get zero zero it means that our operation finished so 10 divided by 4 it's going to be equal to 2.5 with decimal number I'm writing here also there are some cases the operation will not end like 74 divided by 6 here if you remember 74 when it is divided by 6 I'm going to write again the result here and if you want to uh, repeat this part again let me tell that one Firstly, I'm going to try to divide 7 by 6. So, how many times we have 6 in 7? Once. 1 times 6, it's equal to 7. Pardon, 1 times 6, it's equal to 6. I'm not doing any operation and I'm always starting from the left side, not from the right side. In division, everything a bit different. So, 1 times 6 is equal to 6. 7 minus 6, it's going to be equal to 1. Then, we are going to send this number down here and it becomes we are going to send it down and this number it's going to be equal to 14 now in 14 how many six we have two sixes we have two times six is equal to 12 and it's going to be equal to two now after this part after this part we are going to start to we are going to start to uh, decimal part because 2 is not divisible by 6 and if you want to continue to your operation you are going to write decimal point here at the same time 0 here 20, in 20 there are 3 times 3 times 6 is equal to 18 and when you subtract again it's going to be equal to 2 and you can add one more 0 but there is no need to add decimal point here in 23 times 3 times 6 is equal to 18 and it's going to be equal to again to 20 minus 18 is equal to 2 as you see it's going to be loop here again and again if you continue like this this is called this is called uh, this number it's going to repeat till infinitely many times so 12.33 uh, till infinity it is going to con uh, continue we are going to stop here we are going to uh, directly write repeating decimals for that one so one more time I'm doing 3 times 6 is equal to 18 and the result it's going to be equal to 2 and as I said this is going to continue so 74 when it is divided by 6 it's going to be equal to 12 point 12.333 and this is repeating decimal as I said and 3 is going to repeat but we are not writing like this for the repeating decimal which decimal is repeating 74 divided by 6 it's going to be equal to 
and over that one when we put this part we are understanding that 3 is repeating infinitely many times so it's equal to that one approximately 74 divided by 6 also it's going to be 12.3 and this is the important part of the this was the important part of the division okay let's continue dividing by decimal also division in decimal different than the division uh, multiplication and addition so while we are dividing by decimal numbers firstly we have to we have to get rid of the decimal point here and when we are getting get rid of the 63 divided by 0 0.7 i'm going to multiply by same number to get rid of the decimal point then i'm going to make the division and i'm going to multiply both of them by 10 times 10 it's going to be so i'm going to multiply this one and this one and this is not going to affect the operation why i'm multiplying by 10 as i said at the beginning i want to get rid of the uh, decimal point from the divisor 63 divided by pardon when you multiply by 10 it's going to be equal to 630 then this is going to be equal to 7 so 630 divided by 7 and you remember from the previous page in 63 we'd have and 630 when you divide by 7 we are going to have here in 63 9 times 9 times 7 63 this is going to be equal to 0 0 but we have one more zero here so this zero when you send it down it's going to add to the end of the answer so it's going to be equal to 90. here we have 2.1 divided by 0 0.03 so i have to multiply this one by uh, i have to multiply by 100 because to get rid of the decimal point i have to move two units right and two unit right means i'm going to multiply by 100 so it's going to be equal to two and uh, 2100 actually 210 because it is 2.1 divided by 3 it's going to be and 21 divided by 3 it's going to be equal to 7 and this is going to be 70 also you can do this kind of operation here now we are going to continue with dividing a decimal by whole number this is also different than the previous page because if you want to get rid of this one uh, and that's going to be equal to when you get 38 divided by when you multiply by 10 when you get rid of this is going to be 38 divided by 40 and that's also something different if we have 40 here uh, 38 divided by 40 means you will divide by 4 and you will divide by 10 uh, after that one division by 10 means you are going to move the decimal point to the left side so firstly let's divide 38 by 4 which is equal to uh, in 3 we don't have 4 in 38 so we should check 9 times 4 it's equal to 36 when we subtract it's going to be equal to 2 so uh, we don't have uh, any number pardon we don't have any 4 in 2 so we are going to add 0 here at the same time one decimal point 20 divided by 4 it's going to be equal to 5 5 times 4 it's equal to 20 and the answer it's going to be zero and our operation already finished this is the division result of 38 divided by 4. firstly i need to tell that one and at the beginning i multiply by 10 to get rid of the uh, to get rid of the decimal point here now i i'm going to add this division 10 uh, how to add that one i'm going to divide by 10 also the result which means we are going to we are going to 38 if it is divided by 40 it means that you are going to move the decimal point one unit right this is going to come one unit right and the decimal point it's going to written here and the answer it's going to be equal to answer it's going to be equal to 0 0.95 that's the answer of the question and I'm rewriting here 0 0.95 is the answer of the question here again we are going to multiply by 10 to get rid of the decimal 38 divided by 70 it's going to be 
you cannot divide 38 by 70, but you can uh, you can divide 38 by 7, then you can divide again by 10, or that decimal uh, 10 uh, move one unit left your decimal point. It's same also. 38 divided by 7, it's going to be equal to in uh, 30, uh, I think we have 5 times 5 times 7, it's equal to 35, that's going to be equal to, when you subtract this is going to be 3, and if you do not have, uh, if you do not have in 3, we should add 1 decimal point and 1 zero here. In 30, how many times we have? 2 times, uh, pardon, 3 times, 4 times, actually we have 4 times. 4 times 7 it's equal to 28 and when you subtract this is going to be equal to 2 and uh, here uh, 2 times uh, 2 again we don't have we are adding one more zero here and when we add zero we are not going to continue here 20 divided by 7 it's going to be equal to 20 divided by 7 it's going to be equal to 2 so the 12 times 7 it's equal to 14 and it's going to be equal to 6 in 60 i think we have more decimals so it's enough for us two decimal place actually with this zero it's going to be equal to three decimal place it's approximately 5.42 when you divide 38 by 7 but if you are going to divide 38 by 38 by 70 it means that you are going to move your one unit to right it's going to be equal to 0 0.400 uh, 542 it's going to be this is approximate result and if you want to continue you may continue here till and probably it's going to continue a lot of operations here